Okay, so I'm back here following week in Gross Point, Michigan for our formal pond uh, experimentation, whatever you want to call it. We're using a pressurized filter to clear up the water since we have no skimmer, no biological filter, and we've now set the UV light in the pressurized filter to run, um, I believe, 24-7. So I will go check that in a second, and let me turn the camera around, and I'll show you the difference in the clarity. All right, so we're back on this project, experimental project here in Gross Point, Michigan. We talked about um, this spillway bowl, adding plants to it. You can see that the water clarity has cleared up. We added the uh, ultra clean filter right here from Aquascapes. We added that to this last week and it's just temporary right now so we were doing some checking on it um still not as clear as what our backyard ecosystem ponds are you, yes you can see the fish but having a hard time seeing down to the bottom so what we're doing for this next test is we've just turned on the uv light we're gonna let that run for 24 7 and we're gonna check back here just to see what the clarity is going to be like next week. I really don't like to use the UV lights on ponds. Um, some ponds need it and maybe this is the case instead of trying to get this set up as a backyard ecosystem pond but stay tuned. I will report back on this in a one week's time to see what the clarity of the water is. So I got a text message from the homeowner stating that uh, the pump was on a trickle. It was coming out of the, the spillway bowl uh, on a trickle. So uh, we didn't have a lot of aeration going. Thankfully, she turned her aeration on. We have some side bubblers along the, uh, the side of this pond. So during the hot weather, um, at least she was smart enough to think, hey, um, I'm gonna turn on some aeration to get the oxygen moving. But as you can see, the pond has cleared up a lot using the uh, pressurized filter in this past week. I did turn on the, I did turn on the UV clarifying and we've got it set for 24 hours right now. We have options of four hours, 12 hours or 24 hours. We set it for 24 hours and you can see the fish swimming around in here. There's a lot more clarity. Might be hard to tell because the sunlight is is actually bouncing down on the water so we get a lot of reflection but the clarity is is improving a lot on this so to sum all this up we've got vegetation that's growing in our spillway bowl those are taking a lot of the nutrients away from the algae um, we still have um, the pressurized filter going in the back over here so we're getting a lot of that fine sediment that's getting trapped in there. So, you know, on a, on a weekly basis, sometimes on a two week basis, we'll have to um, back flush that. So what I'm gonna recommend to the homeowner is we go ahead, take the pressurized filter here and we actually put it down in the ground. We'll bring some more of the inch and a half uh, king free piping. We're probably gonna switch over to inch and a half um, flexible piping because the kink free sometimes will crack and then become a, an issue with leaks. We don't want to drain out our pond. So we're going to take the pressurized filter. We're going to, uh, with the approval of the homeowner, we're going to uh, sink it in the ground back here. We're going to have one pipe that leads over the edge as an intake going in the pressurized filter and then another one as a return going back down into the pond. So that's a wrap on, on this uh, pond, formal pond investigation and management of this pond water. So if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and thanks for watching.
I want to have a side note on this. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little film on this water here, okay? Now all the trees around, you know, you get a lot of pollen from these trees. And when the pollen's sitting on the surface of this water, it will sink into the water column and create a cloudy effect in the water. Without having a, a skimmer on a pond to skim the surface of that water so that pollen can actually go into a skimmer, get trapped into a filter mat, that's, you know, coupled with biological filtration up on top and mechanical filtration at the edge, you know, it's a one-two punch that will give you that clarity of the water. And that's what we strive for on all of our ponds. Sometimes we can't do it, but other times we have to use alternate methods. Thanks for watching.